Hello, and welcome to another Movement is Medicine small dose chair exercise session. This is Total Body Chair Refresher. These 10 minute sessions are designed to help you get in the recommended 30 minutes of daily activity for health and wellness, because movement is medicine. No matter your current activity level, everyone can benefit from getting more movement into their day. Regular movement is an essential part of maintaining joint health and preventing or managing many chronic conditions. These 10 minute chair sessions are designed to make it easy to get started and gradually build up your activity. You can fit them in throughout your day, starting with just one session and increasing as you feel able. These are also great exercises to use to break up a long day sitting at your desk. All righty, let's take that first important step towards better health together. For this session, you just need a comfortable, sturdy, non-slip armchair, some comfortable clothing, and supportive non-slip shoes and have some water nearby so you can hydrate if needed. Okay, we're gonna start out with a little warm up just to get everything uh, moving and prepared for the main movement part of our session. And uh, we're gonna start with just uh, four shoulder shrugs. So we're just gonna bring those shoulders up and then stretch them down, bring them up towards your ears, stretch down as comfortably as you can up, down, one more time up, and one more time down. And now we're just gonna look side to side. We're gonna do four times each way. So turn your head to the right slowly. Look over to the right as comfortably as you can. We don't need to push it. And then forward and then to the left. Forward to the right forward to the left, forward to the right, forward to the left, and now one more time to the right, and then forward, and then to the left. Okay, we're gonna go uh, up and down now each way, so look up to the ceiling as, as comfortable, as comfortably as you can, you know, you don't need to push it. So up, and then down to the floor, up to the ceiling, down to the floor, up to the ceiling, down to the floor, and then one more time. Okay, and now we're gonna do some forward shoulder rolls. So we're just gonna roll those forwards, those shoulders forward, three, four, and then back four times, one, two, three, four, all right, and now we're just gonna twist, we're gonna do a torso twist each way, we're gonna go each way uh, two times, so look over to your left like that, uh, moving at your torso, keep your abdomens engaged and your back straight, and then to the right, All right, and back to the center, and now back to the left, and back to the right. Okay, it gets your spine nice and limber. And then we're going to um, just go like this, almost like a jack, but more like a like we're making an X with our arms and our legs, and we're just gonna do that four times. So one, two, three, four, and we're gonna finish our warm up with just marching it out just to get everything on uh, nice and warmed up. So we're just gonna march with the pump in our arms. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, let's move on to the main part of our session now. All right, let's move on. Okay, we're gonna do a series of uh, four exercises here um, that we're gonna do on alternate sides. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do leg circles. We're going to do them both outwards and inwards. I'm going to do some slow kicks, um, ankle circles, and some foot flexions. And then we're going to you know, make sure we hit each side, and then we're going to repeat all that. So we're going to start with the leg circles, and we're going to circle the leg out, two, three, and then back in, 
two, three, and we're gonna hit the other side with that, out, two, three, and then in, two, three. And next we're gonna do some slow kicks. So this is gonna be, we're gonna raise at the count of three, and you're gonna come up as far as you comfortably can, and then back down. Um, you know, the, the goal here is to be uh, controlled and um, slow. So we're gonna go up one, two, three, and down two, three. Up two, three, down two, three. Up two, three, down two, three. Up two, three, down two, three. All right, and now we're gonna do some ankle circles. So bring your legs out and have them just above the ground and circle those ankles out and pay attention to this um, foot on me because this one doesn't move quite right. And then back in two, three, and then next some foot flexion. So bring both feet forward as far as you can and back your toes back as far as you can. Two, and three. All right, let's run through those again. So now some first some leg circles. Circle that I find this easier if I'm sitting on the edge. So I'm going to come out to the edge and then I'm going to circle the leg out two, three, in, three, and now the other side out two, three, and then in two, three, and now back to those slow kicks. So up two, three, down two three, up, two, three, down, two, three, up, two, three, down, two, three, up, two, three, down, two, three. One more time. Up, two, three, and now those ankle circles. So bring those ankles forward. Um, those feet forward and circle those ankles out three times and then in three times and then the foot flexion forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Okay. Okay, next we're going to do some marching. So if you've been doing these sessions of mine for a while, we do a lot of this and I really like it because it gets that heart uh, pumping and that blood flowing. So we're going to do this for a couple seconds here. And then we're going to move on to some um, leg kicks. But when we're doing the leg kick, we're going to punch out the uh, that opposite arm. Okay, a little couple more marches here. All right, both feet down on the ground, and now we're gonna do some kicks and punches like that. Do a couple seconds of these. Whoops, that wasn't a good kick. You know, this also really helps with coordination, and that reduces um, the chance of injury because, um, you know, it helps with uh, connecting the brain to the muscles so that we move uh, better. And next we're gonna do some um, foot slides with some arm, I call them arm chugs. So like that. So you wanna slide the uh, foot forward and the opposite arm forward like that. This is a really good exercise for the knee. So if you have knee osteoarthritis, this is a, a good one to do. Um, it helps get that synovial fluid rolling, flushes the joint out, increases lubrication. And again, if you can't go um, that as far as me, do what you can. Couple more. Okay, we're gonna come back to the center. Just take a couple seconds. Big breath in. And we're gonna go back to the marching. Okay. 
just about 10, 15 seconds of marching here. Okay, we're gonna go into those kicks with the punches. And I like doing this little twist at the end. I don't know, it feels good to me. You don't have to do that. Okay, that feels about right. And then we're gonna move into the foot slides with the, the arm chugs. And if you can't keep up with my speed, that is fine too. You can. You can move at a slower pace. Just try to do it at the, you know, the same amount of time that I'm doing and, you know, at a pace that you can continue to do it. All right. Okay, we're going to finish up with a, a tiny cool down. So we're going to start um, by um, putting your legs out forward and um, sliding your hands down your calves towards your toes as long as, as far as you can go. And now in that bent position, I just want you to take your arms and twist to one side. Don't push too far. Back to center. And now the other way as comfortable a range as you can. Okay, back to center. We're gonna straighten back up. And then we're just going to do our rainbow arms. So up, breathe in, down, breathe out, up, breathe in, down, up, in, okay, that's all for today. Thank you for joining in today. Keep up the great work and remember, every bit of movement counts towards a healthier you. So please keep coming back. See you in the next session.